Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be discussing a very basic system setup in order to set up your marketing and give customers a first preview of your business, the first contact they have with your business. Uh, and uh, before we go ahead, I'd just like to assure you that whenever we talk about systems, uh, the usual picture that comes to your mind is, hey, something going to be very complicated having to do with software and websites. And it's nothing of the sort. Uh, we are going to be setting up a very basic customer journey with stuff that you can do literally tonight or outsource today and get it done. Uh, and there is no element of technology in the basic setup. Uh, but I want you to do this just to understand the basic customer journey so that if you choose later to automate it, then you understand how and why we are doing it. And even if you outsource it later, then uh, you know you have a basic picture of how and what is to be done. So <clears throat> real quick, uh, the two, two elements that uh, we recommend to start with for systematic selling for a systematic sales process. The first one is marketing material, which is uh, uh, stuff that you give out to customers that they, where they can access, they can see your details, etc. And the second part is an opt-in hook where they give you their details in a format where it gets locked into your system and then you are free to mass message them later, right? So we'll just quickly go through this. <clears throat> Marketing material is formed of uh, three components, your biz Facebook business page, your business phone number, and a visiting card. Um, now, uh, usually, I recommend starting out with a Facebook business page because that gives you uh, a feel for, first of all, it's free. And secondly, that gives you a feel for customer interactions and basic content that you put on there, right? Uh, to set up a website, you need to have your content pre-decided otherwise you can't set up a website but for a Facebook business page you can just start a Facebook business page today that is connected to your personal profile and you can name it with the name of your brand you can have some artwork in there which which your brand represents and uh, then you can start putting some content in it so it gives you yourself a feel for how you want to project yourself uh, in front of your customers it's also going to be featured on your visiting card and I'll, I'll show you a sample just in a minute the second thing I want you to have is a business phone number uh, and a business phone number is something, a, a phone number, a mobile phone number that you take just for the purpose of your new business or if you already have a business and you're starting a new product line uh, using my tutorials, then I would recommend you have a separate phone number for it. Uh, two reasons for it, it's going to be have, it's going to be loaded with a separate business WhatsApp and the second thing is any incoming calls that you get onto this number, uh, you will know that it's a customer for a particular uh, brand or product that you have and you will immediately kind of be in that mindset to to deal with them so so that's a business phone number which is just any other sim card just get it from your local service provider and if you have a multi-sim phone just insert it into your regular phone uh, otherwise just get a simple uh, smartphone which can have whatsapp and just uh, put your uh, business sim in there uh, the third thing is a visiting card and a visiting card looks like this it has your logo it has uh, your Facebook page. Now, I have a website and a Facebook page, so I've mentioned both over here. You see over here. And then I have my email address, which could be a Gmail address for you, and then your business phone number. So this has basically your logo or your photo. If you are an individual brand like a consultant, you can have your photo favicon literally printed on it. If you go to um, a Vista Print or Print Stop, I've given some assets below this video where you just where you can just go and get these things printed and um, uh, you need to have your logo before that so uh, you know just get a graphic designer to print out a logo for you it's very cheap uh, they can do it for you and uh, uh, and then uh, one more important thing so it should have your contact details so this is something that you give out it's not going to get you any business but uh, when people ask you for your contact details you should have something now uh, the other thing is free real estate. I'm going to tell you one secret about uh, free real estate that everybody wastes. 99.99% of business owners, right from small shopkeepers to large company CEOs waste that real estate and that real estate can be converted into wealth. And that real estate is the back side of your visiting card. So this is the logo and the front side and this is the back side, right? This real estate everybody wastes, right? What do you print? It's just free real estate waiting for you to make money out of it, right? So I've printed the customer, some of the customer hooks, some of the things that will get a customer interested on the back of it. And I'll read out what my hooks are, right? They're in three separate segments and it says 
boost your visibility, expand your revenue, maximize your profit, build your brand, and then we have cash flow vehicles, project launches, recession free business plans, global support, prosperous retirement, worry free income, and self sustaining business models. So there are three separate sections. The first has to do with uh, with my online coaching uh, uh, system. Some of the courses that you're going through, that's boost your visibility, how to expand your revenue, how to maximize your profit, etc. The second has to do with our consulting offer, which is consulting practice, which is how we do project launches for people, how we uh, guide people to set up their business so that it avoids a recession. And the third thing is uh, affiliate marketing, which is prosperous retirement, worry free income and self sustaining business models. So if you ever take your business online uh, tomorrow, so I, I teach about affiliate marketing a little bit in the basic course as well, where you can get other people's products to flow into your ecosystem and make a profit on all of them because you're the person in front of the customer and you're actually providing this business to other affiliated businesses in your community. In the second uh, uh, level course, we actually talk about taking your entire business online and then having multiple streams of income flowing in through other affiliate businesses where you promote them as part of your ecosystem and you and you get paid in many of these subscription services so if a customer utilizes them chances are they're going to utilize them for a long time and every time they pay a bill uh, they pay the invoice from their credit card or whatever you get paid a commission out of it and the whole thing is automated so once you set it up at that level, uh, once customers are in your ecosystem, you've created a community around them and they're partaking more and more of your products and services, many of which could be affiliate products and services. Then what you've done is by virtue of this community, you're providing value to this community by aggregating all these affiliate products and services and bringing it to them. And then you're adding value to the marketing community, to the vendor community, because you are bringing them this business. And the whole thing is set, set up on an automated level where you keep getting paid in your bank account and you don't even know where the money is coming from. So the money will follow you. So we recommend those models in our level two course and we uh, work with you to get, get your entire business online. Now, these are the things that I write in my visiting card. And the reason I do it is because when customers take my contact details, you know, they have this free real estate, which is going, they're going to keep reading and it is written in an impactful fashion uh, so that it keeps hitting them, right? So your exercise for today, we're not done with the video, but your exercise for today is you need to figure out what are the five or seven things you can write down on the backside of your visiting card that adds value to your customers that's going to keep them thinking. So if your business is into hospitality, what are the things you can write down about entertainment, about the experience they will get? that will keep them, you know, that will keep make their mouth drool and make them dream about enjoying that experience, right? And uh, if you're into, let's say, a health business, then what are the things, what are the keywords that you can use over there, three or four or five things that will strike them, right? So um, um, 10 extra years of disease-free, healthy life, right? If you write that, then people who are in the 30 to 40 year segment, they're already starting to feel a slowdown in their metabolism. They're going to start worrying about growing old. And when you say 10 extra years of uh, worry-free and stress-free or healthy disease-free life, and that's going to hit them. So here's just some examples. The exercise for you is just write down uh, five or six lines on what you think your business uh, uh, can can write that can kind of pull the customer in and do... Um, do share with me in the comments column saying this is what I do and this is what I feel uh, my my input should be, my hook should be and uh, I will definitely read and uh, advise you on it. So this is this is how you structure your visiting card and then the next two things are uh, your opt-in hook, the next two things are your business WhatsApp number and your email opt-in and autoresponder. So uh, the business WhatsApp is very simple. You use your SIM card or if you already have WhatsApp on your phone and you insert a second SIM in your phone device, you just go to the Android or Apple uh, store and uh, the App Store and just get a WhatsApp business, WhatsApp business in there. And I don't know if I can show you clearly on my phone, but, but you see these two icons. There are two icons, one below the other. One is a WhatsApp and one is a WhatsApp business, right? So the WhatsApp business icon looks just like WhatsApp. It has a B written on it. And uh, this has slightly better features than WhatsApp. And that means you can keep two separate SIM cards and two separate WhatsApp on, on, on one device as well. So just get that. And the reason you take a business WhatsApp number is every time somebody asks you, 
you for your card or ask you what you do uh, you say you give them a hook which is we help you get an experience that will make you live worry free for an extra 10 years of your life disease free that's what we do healthcare consulting and they say well how do you do that you say hey can you add this number can you add this number into your uh, into your whatsapp and whatsapp us we will send you a free guide on how we go about it right 20 ways to live disease free in your 50s right and uh, say something like that keep some asset like that and we talk about it in, in in other videos as well in great detail so don't worry about it i'm just giving an idea over here but what you do is uh, every time somebody asks you for your card or say they, they ask you what you do and how you do you say hey this is my number can you send a whatsapp message saying hi and i will send you back the guide right so you imagine you get 10 people walking into your business or coming through Facebook ads or whatever it is and if you get 10, 15, 20 people saying hi to you, it's better to have a separate SIM card and a separate WhatsApp business just so that you know exactly what to respond to them and you send them this guide. Now what happens is in order to WhatsApp them, they have to add your number into their phone book. Once they do that and they send you the hi and you send them a guide, then basically the two of you are connected to each other and through your WhatsApp business you can send out broadcasts you know, to thousands of people. Uh, so every time you have a sales promo or something, if there's a thousand people who have received that guide from you, if you send out a promo to them, and let's say only with 2% conversion, there's 20 people who are willing to buy then and there, right? So that's how you maximize the value of your products by, by doing promos and by, by sending them to thousands and thousands of people. The second thing is an email autoresponder. This has been in existence for more than 20 years now. And uh, what it does is you have a little email code um, and and uh, and you will see this on the on the startup track website also you have the name please enter your name we'll send you a free guide so people basically enter their name and email the moment they do that there's an email system at the back end and it shoots out not only that guide but it shoots out some pre-scheduled material at certain times uh, during the month or during the week to them so even without your personal involvement once you set it up people get an email from you every two to three days talking about your product or talking about your offers or talking about your promos and this whole thing works to reinforce your image in their eyes right so now an email opt-in autoresponder could be a little bit of a technical thing uh, for you and uh, most people kind of recommend that you set up a website set up hosting i remember when i was brand new to it i i was tech illiterate i am tech illiterate till today uh, but a system that I use, uh, which I highly recommend, is called PLS. It has uh, three features pre-built into it. And if you want to try it out, you have a link out here. You can just look at my promos and see if you want, if this is something you want to do. But I personally do the coachings on how to set up this system. And uh, I personally have funnels in there that you can duplicate. So if you want to get linked to me, you can use the system. Uh, however, at an, this is a very basic system, but it has all the functionalities built into it, which basically means that you have uh, you can set up an entire blog inside it right you can set without having needing to know any technicalities you can set up uh, your entire opt-in pages in, inside it you can buy your domain names inside it and have your opt-in on it uh, you can have uh, email autoresponders within it so it is everything is pre-built into it so it has all these functionalities and then uh, if you are a business who is going to broadcast or bring in uh, other people into your system like affiliate businesses it has a affiliate reward program also so you kind of start going uh, online and start building your affiliate business at the first go uh, again the second uh, biggest benefit is that i use the system myself and uh, i help set up these funnels for you so i have pre-built funnels in there that you can actually duplicate right there and have tutorials etc inside it um, and the third thing is it is the cheapest thing out there. So typically uh, in our level two course, we recommend that you get uh, ClickFunnels, which is the standard system that most people use for email and autoresponder. Uh, but ClickFunnels costs you about $400 a year. That's about uh, 30,000 rupees a year. And uh, um, and and uh, then you have to then you have to use a constant contact email responder separately. And then if you have a blog, then you need opt-in forms um, uh, separately. So constant contact will give you opt-in forms, then you have click funnels, and then you have a couple of affiliated systems, which makes a whole ecosystem and the total spend on these systems is about 20,000 rupees a month. We talk about it in great detail uh, in our level two course, but at this very basic level, 
assuming you want to go in for an email opt-in it will benefit you over the long run uh, you can go and try out PLS we have a link below right there again this is not an absolute necessity to get started but at some point you will want to get into email marketing because email marketing is the only thing that is first of all free the second of all it is unlimited which means if you have 50,000 people or a lack of people who've given you their emails you can contact all one lakh people with an email system and it is free I mean you have to pay a subscription fee but the amount of people you can contact is literally unlimited the second thing is people change their phone numbers all the time so if you get their whatsapp business uh, if you get their number on, the, on your whatsapp business there is a 40% attrition rate on phone numbers 40% of people literally change or discard their numbers on, on a yearly basis I know you would not have believed this but this is true and uh, people rarely ever change their gmail people never ever change their email address especially if they're using it for day-to-day -day stuff they have their bills coming in there etc so people rarely ever change their email address but people frequently change their phone numbers uh, the third most important thing is algorithms are changing on a daily basis people are changing their phone numbers on a yearly basis uh, whatever fan following you have on your Facebook page or whatever other um, advertising format you're using those things can change at any time and they do change Google changes the algorithm literally every month Facebook changes the algorithm literally every month and things are changing on a daily basis so what you're doing to aggregate customers may go away tomorrow and you'll have to start from scratch but if you have people's emails who have opted in for you to be able to contact them then that never nobody can ever take that away from you you can change your email system you can change Google can change all their rules but email will never go, go away if you have permission from people to contact you you will be able to send them emails right so so I highly recommend that you look at uh, setting up an email opt-in however that is not a necessity to start with and then you have an option which has a bunch of these things put together I highly recommend it I use it myself chances are that you came into my system through a PLS autoresponder uh, and you can just look at the testimony the, the, the tutorials and see if there's something that impresses you uh, next one is the payment gateway now a payment gateway or being registered with Paytm or something is something that we teach in our advanced system where we teach the whole how you can take the whole process of aggregating a customer and having them pay for your product uh, outside which means automate it outside of your control so you don't have to deal with it on a daily basis and the whole thing works automatically without your interference and that is when it automatic payment gateway kind of comes in handy but if you are an already existing business and if you have uh, already a payment uh, a Paytm code or something that is very good otherwise uh, you need to have some sort of a payment gateway and the two that I highly highly recommend the first is of course Paytm if you're in India if you're outside India then PayPal is definitely the best and I use both these Paytm as well as PayPal and uh, the third one and the very important one for web applications and web browsers is Insta Mojo right so for mobile devices Paytm is better and for uh, web browsers and laptop users uh, Insta Mojo is, is definitely better so these are some uh, of the payment gateways that you can think about integrating you can just contact them and see if you can get a code from them or, or, uh, or get them integrated on your website but again this is not required at a basic level this is just something you need to have at the back of your mind in setting up your systems so these are the systems uh, that you will require to start with the last two like I said are optional um, and the first four are uh, you know which is the business number and whatsapp number is pretty much the same thing but the four four items that you need to set up your business page today Facebook you need to set up your business phone number and business whatsapp and then you need to set up your visiting card if you need any help do send me your, uh, your ideas about what you want to write on the back of the card and I will help you uh, select uh, uh, you know select or kind of advise you on what is the best way to go forward all right that is uh, pretty much for this video i guess and i will see you in the next video bye bye